Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. Today, we're looking for our squirrels, all right? Now, there's several species of squirrels in California. We'll start with the gray ones. Now, both of these are tree squirrels. There's the western gray squirrel. He's on the left here. He is Sayuris griseus. Now, he's native to California. He's found from Washington, Oregon, California, down to northern Baja, California. He's mostly in the wooded areas of Sierra Nevadas, central California, like Ojai, Los Padres National Forest. We have the eastern gray squirrel on the right. Now, he is Sayuris carolinensis. Now, he's not native to California. He's an invader. He's smaller than the western gray squirrel, but he's outcompeting our gray squirrels very successfully in California. So we're getting more of these smaller gray guys from the East Coast invading our lands here. Now the way to tell them apart is by their coloring. The western gray is fully gray in the face, whereas the eastern gray has both gray and brown coloring. Now we also have desert squirrels, like our Mojave ground squirrel and the antelope ground squirrel. And the Mojave ground squirrel Zero spermophilus mojavensis. Now he's endemic to the Mojave Desert. He's considered a threatened species. He's pretty hard to find and he spends much of his time underground. We also have the antelope ground squirrel here. He's from the genus Amospermophilus. He's much more common. And there's five different species of antelope ground squirrels. And this one here is an Amospermophilus heresii. Now he comes from Joshua Tree National Park out in the Mojave Desert. So Californians are most familiar with our California brown squirrels, which are pretty common in park and urban settings, and also our community here in Cota de Casa. So let's figure out who they are. So this guy here is our California ground squirrel, Autospermophilus beachii. And he's got a mix of gray, light brown, dusky fur. Kind of gives him a bit of a mottled appearance. He's got stripes of darker fur that extend from the back of his head to the mid-back. While gray fur forms the cap of his head over the sides of his head and shoulders. Okay, and his underside is a little pale buff, maybe a grayish yellow. Now, where do they live? Well, they live right here in these tunnels in the ground. Okay, they live, breed, and mate in burrows like we have here. All right. And they build in the hillsides or low berms. Okay, if they can't find a hillside, the ground squirrels will dig vertically several feet to create a safe space in these burrows. They're about four to five inches in diameter, and they vary in length from about five to 35 feet. So multiple generations of ground squirrels, like in here, uh, they use these burrows. And individual squirrels, they have their own entrances, all right? A single den may have dozens of tunnels and several dozen openings. So in California, ground squirrels are not gathering food to squirrel away or store. They spend their time underground in these tunnels or burrows. How about that? Now, once they've uh, constructed these elaborate burrow systems, these California ground squirrels, they tend to be very close to home all the time. And in fact, the males and the females can usually be found about 150 yards next to their burrows. So what do they eat? Well, ground squirrels, they eat nuts and seeds and corn on the cob here. All right, they have a preference for California black walnuts, grass seeds, and poppies. They also eat fruit, especially gooseberries, and the prickly pear cacti. But they also eat insects and fungi. And the damage they cause, well, don't let their size fool you, because ground squirrels are bad for your yard, because they like to burrow and uproot your plants and your landscaping. They kill your trees and your shrubs. They eat whole seedlings, they nibble the tops of your vegetables, they eat fruits and berries, 
and they destroy your vegetable garden. They can also excavate under your buildings, cause the foundations to crack. And they'll cause a lot of havoc to your lawn as well. So if you want to get rid of these guys, the sane way, the nice way, just use decoys. Okay, like an owl or a hawk, but the squirrels will get onto it, so you got to keep moving your decoys. All right, all around. So here's another burrow for our ground squirrel. So up in our trees here, we have another squirrel. All right, he's called a fox squirrel, or he's an eastern fox squirrel. Sometimes he's called a Bryant's fox squirrel. And he is Sayurus niger. And he's the largest species of tree squirrel in North America. And you can tell the eastern fox squirrel from the California ground squirrel because the fox squirrel has a big bushy tail and our California ground squirrel has a longer, thinner tail. So he's 20 to 30 inches in length. His body and tail are about the same size. He's got no sexual dimorphism, so the males and the females, they look alike. And in California, the upper body is brown gray to brown yellow and typically brown orange on the underside. He's got sharp claws for climbing trees and a very muscular abdomen to help him with his climbing as well. He's got excellent vision, hearing and smell. He's got lots of whiskers for sensing on his eyes, chin, nose, and forearm. So what do these fox squirrels eat? Well, they forage along the ground. They exploit human activity for food, like fast food restaurants, shopping centers. So in Cota de Casa, they mostly dine on acorns from our coast live oak trees, but they also eat walnuts and other nuts and seeds from almost any tree across the United States. So their diet is really based on their geography and habitat. And they eat tree buds, insects, tubers, bulbs, bird eggs, pine seeds, fungi. They also eat agricultural crops like coins, soybeans, and oaks. Sometimes fruit as well. And they collect all the food and they store it in caches. And they like foods with shells like acorns and nuts because they're less likely to spoil and they tend to be higher in fat content. So where do eastern fox squirrels live? Now naturally, they come from the east coast, but today we find them throughout the Dakotas, Canada, down to California. In fact, they were introduced to California in 1904 at a veteran's home in Los Angeles. And it seems like the veterans were lonely for squirrels, so they brought them out from the east coast. Now they're very versatile, but they're most successful among smaller forest patches. And they thrive in the oak, hickory, walnut, pecan, and pine trees especially for the nuts they like to store in winter. And you find them in more interspersed trees as opposed to more dense crowded trees like you might find a gray squirrel at. Now they nest in the trees in either leaf nests about 20 to 30 feet above the ground or in tree cavities in the limbs. They are diurnal, non-territorial, and they spend a lot of time on the ground. All right, and uh, a couple other facts about our eastern fox squirrel. They're super jumpers, they can jump about 15 feet. They communicate by making an assortment of clucking sounds. And they're very successful reproducing animals. And they'll produce two litters per year instead of one, like most squirrels. All right, so there you go. That's our squirrels. We've got a ground squirrel right over here. He's coming out of his burrow there. And uh, hope you enjoyed that video. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.